Hey Gemini, welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We're doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember, if this reading resonates, to so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower linked below in the description. So what is coming up for Gemini's this week in love? Let's see, we have player, playing games, Casanova, multiple lovers. Boundaries, drawing the line, fed up, final straw, something must change. Sucker for love, easily deceived, ignoring red flags, enjoying the idea of love. Okay, so you may feel like you fell for this person's tricks in the past, but you're definitely not doing it again because you have healthy boundaries. Ooh, what does Gemini need to know about this? Love triangle, third party involved, choice between two external factors. Daydreaming, fantasizing, hopes and dreams, imagining what could be. And heart rules. Guided by emotions, love wins. In the end, you rule their heart. Okay. At the bottom, we have partner with kids, blood ties, inner circle, family influence, and glow up in the reverse. All right. So, hmm, someone here doesn't want you to build on a strong foundation, which you are, okay, because you've kept hope in the situation after you drew these boundaries or these, I mean, drew these lines and had these healthy boundaries with someone that you knew was playing games, okay? They're still a sucker for you. They enjoy the idea of love, but they don't implement it, okay? It's more uh, give or take versus give, all right? And you're meeting someone here that you will rule their heart. This will be your divine match, mm-hmm. What is this player with the love triangle? Ugh. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally having fun. And I think that's all it was for you. There was no um, stronghold on a relationship with this person. It was only passion. What else? Kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. And this is where you're going now. That you've created boundaries with people like this. What is heart rules with sucker for love? The Phoenix new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, to change mind with date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan and set a date. So you are, you're meeting someone new and this is good for you. I feel like this, you've grown a lot. You've transformed a lot since this past connection. You've realized that maybe this was more of a lustful energy for you and it was a fantasy. So again, you've drawn that line and you're going towards something way better. And it doesn't have to be exactly this week, but it is coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get up there. Let's look at the tarot, Gemini. Let's see what you need to know about this. Yeah, someone is watching, trying to get more information, but still hanging on very tightly. And I also get an energy of you protecting yourself and your finances and learning more about yourself. Gemini, what do they need to know this week? What's coming up for them? Again, the Four of Pentacles is coming out. And the Hanged Man. It's like you've gotten enlightenment by holding back. Mm-hmm. Now, where is it leading you? The Ten of Cups. The Five of Cups. What's happening between Gemini and this energy? The Knight of Wands. A lot of fun. A lot of action. Maybe travel. Oh, as I said, travel. We get the Chariot. Sign of Cancer is here. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe an Aries, Leo, Sag. What's the outcome? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone is being shady here. But then I kind of get this vibe of, actually, I get this vibe of you protecting yourself because you want to make sure you're not trapped in an illusion or a fantasy. Uh-huh. You could be a little bit guarded. But again, it's because you're protecting yourself, what you've built for yourself. But things are going to pick up quickly here. I see you having a lot of fun and bringing passion back into your life. And someone here views you as this Ten of Cups, someone they could build a family with, this emotional fulfillment. You may have known this person for a long time. I'm kind of getting that here. But this Five of Cups is like saying to me, this person lost hope and love at one point, and they had to soul search. 
I feel like you had enlightenment that you needed and you could have just been clinging to the bag. You could have just been working and working and then also just finding enlightenment within yourself. But things, it's like you're both getting on this road of excitement and joy and I'm getting dance and, and travel and all this fun shit. Let's see what it's about. And I do think you're releasing the need to protect yourself so much. But someone could be very guarded about a new relationship you're going towards. What's the Four of Pentacles with the Hangman? Wow, the Three of Cups. You're going to be celebrating very soon, okay? And the Three of Swords. Jesus. Sorry, Jesus. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like, oh my gosh. I mean, the Devil's at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Pentacles. These could be like, I'm hearing... um. People in your family that weren't there for your highest good. You're building your soul tribe. You've released the need to um, try to control a situation or realizing that you can't help everyone. That's what I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups in this energy. It's like some people weren't, they weren't rooting for you. And now the right people are. You're celebrating coming out of this. Damn. All right, what is this about? The Queen of Cups, yeah, it's taught you a lot about yourself, about your intuition, about how to heal, and you have, you've removed your emotions from a lot of these situations, you've walked away, you've left it behind, and you're better for it, okay? This is Ten of Cups with the Five of Cups. The Hermit. So, sign of Virgo here, this person thinks about you a lot, and the Five of Wands. I feel like this person would do anything for you. That's what I'm feeling with this Five of Wands. Like, they would smack a bitch quick. <laughs> they would if they came at you with any drama. We have the Ten of Cups here. I also feel, too, this person may reflect on a lot of the karmic shit they had to go through in the past. And that's why they want the Ten of Cups in their lives at this time. They, they don't want to be in that energy ever again. What's the Five of Cups? The Knight of Swords. So... This person's going to be direct with what they want in a relationship. They're going to be very honest. But I'm getting that someone, there could be an air sign that wants to create some kind of drama with your person. Mm -hmm. They could want to create some kind of argument to try to stop the harmony of this relationship, but they can't. What is the Knight of Wands with the Chariot? We have the Six of Wands. I'm telling you, it's going to be a success. It's a victory. You're winning over your enemies or over people that thought they could play you in the past. You're having fun again. Six of Swords. Yeah, two Sixes are here. So I feel like things are getting very balanced. You're, you don't feel like this is a block anymore. You feel like you're glad you learned the lesson. Now you can move on from it and you're very successful. Look at this. Nine of Cups is at the bottom. And it's like, yeah, if there were secrets, you're glad that they're out now. With the moon in the reverse and the nine of cups. This could also be a cancer revealing their feelings to you. What's the chariot? The ace of swords. Yeah, this could be communication from um, a cancer for some of you. But this is honesty. This is truth. This is someone that's telling you the truth. They're ready for things to go in that direction. The same direction you are going. And I'm also getting that this person is trying to get your attention, okay? But again, they're very abrupt. They might not think before they talk. So there is this person who wants to bring conflict. And I do get a fire sign or a fellow air sign. But it's because they want to try to stop this growth that you've had. And they can't. It's where you're supposed to be. So what is the Seven of Swords? What is this about? Is this Gemini protecting themselves? Or is this someone trying to come at Gemini? The Sun. The Five of Cups. Yeah, it's you protecting yourself and your wealth and your well-being. And there's your transformation card. Because Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. It, there could have been a time where, yeah, someone left you or you had to leave them because it was more take or more, what is it, more taking than giving in the situation. Um, and it caused a lot of stress for you. And now you're seeing how happy you truly can be through this transformation. And I think this person is too with the Five of Cups. I think they've been trying to get you to open up. And you are. This is also good health, you guys, coming in. So expect lots of good, positive changes through Scorpio season. Mm-hmm. 
This could even be a Scorpio or a Leo you're dealing with. What else does Gemini need to know this week? What's coming towards them? We have safe place, feels like home, sense of security, comfort zone. Perfect match, great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection, and proper offering, receiving an offer, a gift, or a contribution, wanting to have something to offer. So this is someone that is on the same page. It's the perfect match, and you're building this comfort with each other. Beautiful. What else does Gemini need to know this week? Energy cords. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that's keeping you two connected. Serendipity. This card's come out a lot today. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. So you have someone that was hoping for the same thing as you when it came to love. They were hoping for someone that would be aligned in this. And then we have endings. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. And it is. Look at how happy you're going to be with the sun card and death. Let's get your final messages for Gemini and Gemini. All right, so it says, manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Lots of stability and growth here. And I'm seeing the yin and yang, which is taking me back to like a twin flame. And then we have embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. Mm -hmm. I think that's what this reading's been about. So I hope you guys enjoy this, Gemini. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.